My name is Greg Lowry. I am the Walter J. Blanco Senior Professor in Civil and Environmental Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University. We work on a variety of things in my research group. Currently we focus on what is called environmental nanotechnology. One component is to leverage the unique properties of nanomaterials to develop new technologies for remediation of say groundwater or water treatment. And then the other aspect of what we're doing has to do with understanding the implications of nanomaterials in the environment. Right now there's many nano-enabled products that are entering the marketplace and people and the government want to know whether these nanomaterials, which are novel, novel materials, um, whether they're going to cause any problems in the environment. And to really understand properly the impacts and the fate of the material, you have to study them within a complex system. A great example would be PCBs, a chemical that was released to the environment in the past. These were compounds that were used in hydraulic oils, like in electric transformers on telephone poles. And the properties of those materials have led to their persistence in the environment and to their distribution in the environment all the way up to polar bears in the North Pole. And if we had known the consequences of those materials a priori, we probably never would have used them. And the idea is to understand how the properties of nanomaterials will impact their fate in the environment so that we can focus on nanomaterials that have benefits to society and try to avoid the ones that have negative consequences. Mm -hmm.